Greetings to all and welcome to Law and Life. I am Shashank Mishra as a host present with renowned senior advocate of Supreme Court of India, Subodh Markande ji. This episode is dedicated and in rem- remembrance of fourth chief justice of India, India Brijan Kumar Mukherjee, the great scholar and dissenter. On 15th August, it will be his 131st birth anniversary. He was born in 1891 and left us on 31st January 1956 during his life period as chief justice of India. So both sir is great admirer of Justice Mukherjee's work, and we must acknowledge him. So, so, so sir, can you please tell us about his early life, education, and career? Uh, when I entered the Chief Justice's Court in the in Court Number One in the in Supreme Court of India way back, uh, I think it was in December. 1965 that was the last day of working day before the vacation as i entered i found on my right hand side the portrait of the public and india's fourth chief justice of india vijay kumar mukherjee he had a very sa- serene countenance very serene it was the i was told that the portrait was drawn by india's much celebrated artist mr achrika so justice mukherjee was born on 15th of august 1891 at hugli though his family hailed from nabodwi his father was a sanskrit scholar and practiced law in the district court although the family enjoyed a very high social status their economic condition was humble justice mukherjee was a self made man uh, an american author called george get boy junior has written a book called the judges of the supreme court of india in that book he says that justice mukherjee was amongst the most brilliant and scholarly of the judges of the supreme court of india so judges uh, so judge justice uh, bijan mukherjee earned five degrees ba in sanskrit and history in 1912 ma in history and in in 1914 and in the same year also bachelor of laws uh, in 1916 he earned masters of law and uh, in 1923 doctor of law in international law he was a gold medalist in both in uh, bachelor of law and uh, master of law besides winning a prize very prestigious prize called anandev research prize can you tell us about his judicial career sir so he started practicing as an advocate in calcutta high court in 1912 and was a part time lecturer in the university law college calcutta after two decades after two decades of practice just see after 20 years of practice he was appointed as junior government leader in 1934 uh, but after officiating as senior government leader for a short time he was appointed as additional judge of the calcutta high court in 1936 and confirmed in 1937 he was appointed as the judge of the federal court under the government of india act in 1948 therefore he was a founding judge of the supreme court of india and became the chief justice of india on 22nd december 1954 but immediately after appointment as the chief justice of india his health began to falter and he was on leave for several months ultimately he resigned on 31st january 1956 and died shortly thereafter on 22nd february 
Sir, what were his other accomplishments? So, Justice Mukherjee has written a very celebrated book called the Hindu Law of Religious and Charitable Trusts. Uh, it's a very, very celebrated uh, work, uh, showing you know his deep knowledge and extensive uh, uh, research on the subject. Uh, he was an acclaimed student of Sanskrit and was conferred with titles uh, called Vidya Ranjan and Saraswati. Uh, he was also a fellow of the Calcutta University. For a person of such dazzling accomplishments, there is very little published material. Uh, for this particular uh, episode, I was searching for published material about B Chief Justice B. K. Mukherjee, but I found very little. Uh, I came across one uh, piece by V. Sudhish Pai, an advocate and author. He published a, he published a, in quotation now I'll say a judge non peril uh, B K Mukherjee's reader as a tribute to the great scholar saint jurist and one of the most illustrious judges of the Calcutta High Court the Federal Court and the Supreme Court of India who rendered some memorable and landmark judgments and plowed a lonely furrow of scholarship. Uh, you see, a, a US Supreme Court judge called William O. Douglas has written a book called We the Judges from Marshall to Mukherjee. This is another tribute to the great Chief Justice, Bijan Kumar Mukherjee. So that's all I could find about the Chief Justice uh, Mukherjee. But uh, uh, from the very beginning, you know, he, he, he wrote judgments as he felt. He never tailored any judgment. He, he was great dissenter. In some of the coming episodes, we'll discuss about his dissenting judgments, particularly in very celebrated case of uh, uh, Dr. N. B. Khare versus State of Delhi. Sure, sir. Thank you for telling us about such great personality of India. It is inspiring for us to know more about him. For the young students and advocate, we must learn and follow the path led down by super seniors. Thank you once again. Mm -hmm.